G'day, welcome to Jez Beer Reviews. Okay, another beer from the Swill and Grog Beer Mar, and it's uh, a bigger can tonight. It's the Hillman's Old Style Classic Lager. Uh, this is a, I believe Old Style is the Midwest, Wisconsin, uh, Chicago and all that, up there in the Midwest. Uh, Milwaukee, yes, Milwaukee. Okay, so uh, this beer is... Uh, 24 fluid ounces or 710 mils ABV a little bit down shore you think it'd be around the 5 mark but uh, should have done some research on that but anyway so I would say it's around the 5 mark can't say on the can she's a big can as you can see a uh, really cool design on the can really nice pictures there uh, depicting uh, Mountains and all that. It kind of looks a bit like uh, uh, you can see brothers there, like uh, Fry Tuck and all that, and the barrels. Them actually making the beer as well. It's a really cool can. That's excellent. Thanks, Swingrog, for that. Uh, one for the collection. Established in 1902, this brand. So I have seen it. American reviewers have seen them over the years, the old style. I just never thought I'd get around trying it, just to um, the availability. I don't know how Swill and Grog got this, but I'm spilling a bit. But a big thanks to Swill and Grog. The uh, Swill and Grog, the master beer hunter. Alrighty, look at that. Okay, just stop the bugs and getting in there. Cameron, clean Cameron beer coaster on top of that. Right, so what we got? Light well, straw appearance, something of an American adjunct lager. Does look pretty tasty in this glass. You got one for your head, but this head, this glass does generate a head. Always does. They're great glasses. These Libby ones, Libby. Uh, it's a Libby Barbarian beer glass, but anyway. So yeah, it looks pretty good. Like I said, over wondering ahead, the smell. It smells like American Agile Lager. It smells similar to what the other, I believe Pabst Blue Ribbon still own this brand. Uh, it reminds me of the Pabst Beers. The beers brewed for Pabst because I don't think they brew their own. I don't know. I know Mill used to brew a fair bit for them, but I'm not sure what's going on there these days. Anyway, uh, I'm real thirsty. And uh, yeah, so big cheers is all. And cheers, Swill and Grog. Let's go. Yeah, it's, it's got that American adjunct lager flavour. Um, somewhat, it's um, got an alright clean little malt, malt profile. There's also got, uh, obviously, they use corn as the adjunct. That's a given. A bit of light bitterness tang, but not too much. Um, finish is pretty nice and dry and very inviting. Let's go again. Carbonation's not too bad. Glacing this glass there. Drinkability is super high. You could really session this beer. You could grab a six and uh, get into it. Um, somewhat, it is cleaner than what I have tried the Paps Blue Ribbon Australia. It's brewed under license in Australia now, and this is a lot cleaner. This one tastes better. So, if you can get hold of old style, get into it. It's better than the Australian brewed Paps Blue Ribbon, which I thought was rubbish. But that's just me, that's my taste buds. So, flavor profile, it's just American Agile Lager, pretty common in the States or certain areas. <coughs> in, in its, uh, uh, in its uh, areas, like I said, session humidity is high. How would I rate this beer? Well, summer here in Australia, it's December. Humidity's gone up, it's hot, and um, don't say I don't just beer reviews much when I actually finish a glass of beer. So, I tell you, it's very highly drinkable. I've got no problems with it. <clears throat> I really enjoy this old style. I'll give it a score of an A minus. Uh, very good interpretation of the style. 
Yeah, very satisfying, gets the job done, no fuss. And yeah, so, big thanks to Tool Grog for this beer, and a big thanks to all you guys out there who keep supporting this channel. And uh, I'll be back with uh, another beer very shortly. So, thanks for watching the episode. I'll catch you all later. Bye.